Hello, Grade 12s. Today we will look at how to determine the point of inflection on a cubic function. Before we learn how to determine the point, let's define where it is. Let's look at a cubic function. Here is y equals 2x cubed minus 8x squared minus 2x plus 8. The turning points, also known as the stationary points A and B, have been marked. Let's look more closely at the graph. From negative infinity to point A, the function is increasing. If we draw a tangent at any point before the turning point A, the line will have positive gradient. The line will also be above the curve. From point B to positive infinity, the function is also increasing. If we draw a tangent at any point after point B, the gradient of the line will also be positive, but the line will be under the curve. The tangents drawn at points A and B will both have a gradient of zero and run parallel to the x-axis. The tangent to point A is above the curve, and the tangent to point B is below the curve. These are our stationary points. The point of inflection lies between the two stationary points. To understand it more, let's look at the tangents that can be drawn between points A and B. There are two tangents drawn here, and both of them have negative gradients. This means that the function is decreasing between points A and B. Did you notice that the tangent close to point A is above the curve, and the tangent closer to point B is below the line? This is an important observation to make, and using it, we can describe the function in more detail. The tangents around point A are all above the curve, so we say that the curve is concave up. The tangents around point B are all below the curve, so we say that the curve is concave down. At a certain point between A and B, the curve changes from being concave up to being concave down. This point, point C, is called the point of inflection. There are two methods we can use to determine the point of inflection. The first method is to find the x value algebraically. The point of inflection has an x value which is exactly in the middle of the x values of point A and B, the stationary points. If we find the x value of the point of inflection, we can substitute it into the equation of the function and solve for y. And the second, more accurate method to use is to make use of the second derivative. Let's find the second derivative of this function together. The function is y equals 2x cubed minus 8x squared minus 2x squared plus 8. The first derivative is f dash of x is equal to 6x squared minus 16x minus 2x. We find the second derivative by using the same method as before. Therefore, the second derivative f double dash of x is equal to 12x minus 16. But how does this help us? Well, let's go back to our graph to answer that question. At point A, the second derivative is negative, and at point B, the second derivative is positive. Between A and B, the second derivative changes from negative to positive. This point is the point of inflection, and at this point, the second derivative is equal to zero. This means to find the point of inflection, all we need to do is to determine the second derivative and then make it equal to zero. This will be the x value of the point. Let's try this together. Therefore, 12x minus 16 is equal to zero. 12x equals 16. Therefore, x equals 16 over 12, which simplifies to 4 over 3. Remember that we are trying to find the point of inflection, so we need to find the x value and the y value. Let's substitute the value of x into the function y equals 2x cubed minus 8x squared minus 2x plus 8. Therefore, y equals 2 bracket 4 over 3 bracket cubed minus 8 bracket 4 over 3 bracket squared minus 2 times 4 over 3 plus 8. Punching these values into the calculator gives an answer of minus 112 over 27. 
Therefore, the point of inflection of the curve is 4 divided by 3 and minus 112 divided by 27. Thank you for joining us, Grade 12s. Remember to try the task video at the end of this series and to look at our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn for more resources. Goodbye.